All right. So pretty much everyone is now talking about lovable.dev and it is now the hot topic in the AI coding space. So today in this video, I'm going to build a full stack web application using lovable.dev. So if you have never used lovable, this can be like a full tutorial where you can go ahead and build a real application with backend integration with Superbase, authentication, databases and whatnot. And now without wasting any more time, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is lovable.dev and this is the platform that we'll be using today. And the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and sign up for a free lovable account. And lovable has a free tier where you can send up to five messages and you can try out the platform. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and purchase a premium plan. And now once you're logged in, this is going to be the interface that you will see. So towards the home screen, you will find a big input box and this is where you will enter your requirements or whatever sort of application that you want to develop. You can go ahead and tell the AI the same in here. And if you further scroll down, you will find a couple of these tabs in here. So we have my projects, latest, featured and templates. So if you click on this latest option, you'll be able to see all the different applications that people around the globe has created using Lovable. And if you move over to the featured section, you can find a couple of these uh, featured projects. And again, if you click on the templates option, you can find a lot of templates that you can start using in a single click. For example, if you want to develop, let's say, a landing page your SaaS startup, you can click on this option. Or if you want to create a landing page for your business, you can click on this option, or maybe a product landing page or online marketplace website, you have a couple of these options right here. And now let's just get started with creating a web application using Lovable. And the cool thing about Lovable is that it has tight integration with Superbase. So it means you can connect to your Superbase account and implement authentication, databases, bucket storage, add functions, and all that stuff in a single click. So I'll show you all of that in this video itself. And the application that we are about to build using Lovable is that we are basically going to create a text to speech converter website. So basically a person comes ahead and enters let's say a uh, text and with the press of a button the person should be able to convert that into text in different voice options and also download it in a single click and in the back end we'll also store this particular audio in our database and also our superbase bucket so that people can go to the history section and access all the past generations and download if needed so i'll go ahead and start typing the prompt here i want to create a text to speech website use open ai api for converting okay let's say converting text text to speech store the audio generated in the superbase bucket yeah so this is the prompt i'm giving I want to create a text to speech website, use open AI API for converting text to speech and store the audio generated in the Superbase bucket. And now this is the prompt that I'll give. And if you, let's say, want to attach an image, for example, if you have already created a mockup or let's say a template for your landing page or the UI of the website. And if you want lovable to create a website similar to that one, you can click on this attach option and upload the image and then ask it to sort of create or take inspiration from that image and then create a website so you have options for that as well and yeah this is the prompt and i'll go ahead and click on the create option and let's sit back and relax now the ai will go ahead and start writing the code and ask us to connect to superbase and we can take it up from there all right so it says let me help you create a beautiful and functional text-to-speech website that leverages openai's api and superbase storage so these are all the design inspirations features and style elements and the first thing that we got to do is to connect to superbase all right so the first thing that you got to do is to open superbase.com and if this is your first time go ahead and sign up for a new account and once you're signed up head back to lovable and you will find a superbase button to the top right so all you gotta do is to click on that option and if this is your first time you will be finding a connect option right here so you can click on that one and a pop-up will appear and you can just click on the authorize button and that way you can connect your superbase account to lovable and now i have already connected my superbase account and i also connected a project or organization and if you hover over this i'll be able to find a bunch of different uh projects that I already have within my Superbase account. And to create a new project, all you gotta do is to click on this option that says create new project and it should open Superbase in a new tab. And you can go ahead and select the organization and give a project name. For, and for this one, I'll go ahead and say lovable demo. Just be sure to give a meaningful name for your project. And I'll go ahead and enter a database password and select the location at let's say uh, North Virginia. And I can click on the create new project option and Superbase project should be done in less than one minute. So let's wait till it is done. So as you can see, our project is now set up. And if I head back to Lovable and if I hover over this option, 
I should be able to find the new project right here, Lovable Demo, and I can click on the connect option and click on connect. And now within seconds, Lovable will establish a connection with Superbase and connect the same to this particular project that we're working on. So let's wait till it is done. And as you can see, our app is now connected to Superbase. And yeah, so the next thing that we got to do is to implement the actual functionality to convert a uh, text into speech. So I can go ahead and say implement the text to speech functionality and I can hit enter. So it says first we need to set up the OpenAI API key and create a storage bucket for the audio files and it is creating a storage bucket, a table to store the audio file metadata and also a couple of RLS policies and these are all the tables and all the fields that the table will have and all you got to do is to review the command here and you can click on the apply changes option and the same should be made live and if you now go to your Superbase project and table editor you should find that particular table right here see we have a table called audio files and it has id text content file path voice and etc etc and if you go over to the storage section you should also find a new bucket called audio and this is the place we'll be storing our audio files and let me head back to lovable and next up we need to add our open ai api key and first up let me go ahead and grab that real quick so i can go to platform.openai.com sign into my account click on the settings icon go to api keys create new api let's see lovable select a project create secret key and i'm going to get my open AI api key and i can come back in here and i can click on the add api key option and it will ask me to enter the OpenAI API key in here. So just paste the key in here and click on submit. And now Lovable will go ahead and store our API key in Superbase. And it says it has created the text to speech functionality and has implemented a user friendly interface and Superbase storage and everything else is taken care of. And if you go over to Superbase and click on the edge functions here, you can find a new function called as text to speech. So this uh, function right here is responsible for converting text to speech and also use the open AI API. And if you click on it, you can find the code execution time and all other details. Now heading back to lovable. Okay. So by now everything should be in place. Let's go ahead and enter a sample text. Let's say, hi there. My name is Astro. And you also have a drop down menu to select the audio. For now, I'll keep it as let's say Nova and click on generate speech and hopefully it works. So let's see. It says generating your audio. Okay. So we can find the recent generation in here and also we can find a audio player in here. So let me go ahead and play it. Hi there, my name is Astro. So as you can see, we have converted this text right here into speech. Okay, so the actual, the core functionality of our app is working fine. And let's just go ahead and fine tune and make our app a bit more interesting. And we'll start with adding authentication. So only authenticated users will be allowed to use our app. So you can go ahead and say, add authentication to our app and hit enter. Now that we have already connected Superbase, so lovable will go ahead and implement the authentication feature and also create a sign up and login page as well so i'll help you add authentication to the app first let me ask do you expect to store any additional user profile data like username role avatar beyond the basic authentication information so let me just go ahead and say no just the name and email and i can hit enter so it has started writing the code so let's see and again, if you want to view the code, you can click on this option right here and you can find a uh, you know, preview of the code that it is generating. And again, this right here is the code. Okay. So if you want to, you can view it. And again, by the end, I will show you how you can actually go ahead and publish your website and also view the code and also add it to GitHub as well. So wait for that. So as you can see, Lovable has implemented the authentication functionality. And before we go ahead and test it out, I'll head over to authentication section in here, click on providers and make sure to turn off this confirm email option. So I can click on save. And as you can see, Lovable has implemented authentication and now only if a person is logged in, will they be allowed to access our app. If I directly visit our homepage, as you can see, we get automatically redirected to the auth page. And here we need to enter our username and email or email and password and sign up. So I can click on this sign up option. And let me enter my uh, email. Let's put a random password, sign up and say signing up and there you have it. So we are logged in and you also have a logout button to log out of the app as well. And now let's just go ahead and say, uh, I want to create a separate history page where I can access and download all my audio generations along with 
text okay i can hit enter so basically i want a dedicated page where i can access all the past uh, generations so yeah so uh, lovable will go ahead and create a new page and pull all the data and if you go to superbase and if you click on storage and let's say audio you'll be able to find the audio file right here right so it is a audio file with around 29 kb and it's an mp3 file so yeah let's just wait for it to create the history page now so it says i've created a new history page and i can click on this history button to access the same so if i click on this one it is loading and here we have our audio and i can click on the download button to download the same to my computer and also view a real time preview hi there my name is astro cool right and now let's just say you want to modify specific elements within the page okay now lovable has a cool feature called the select option so if you enable this option you'll be able to select any container within let's say your uh, lovable project so for example let's say i want to select uh, this container right here okay so i can select this one and i can go ahead and say add a gradient background container and make it look a bit more modern and i can hit enter and in a similar fashion you can go ahead and select and target any individual elements within your uh, project and you know edit that particular part only so that's also one cool feature that i found in lovable and again if you go to your superbase authentication section you should be able to find the new user so i signed up using email and i can find all the details in here and if you want to you can delete add or modify users from here as well heading back to lovable so it's updating the history page to have gradient background and modernize it to appearance using tailwind css classes so let's wait so as you can see lovable has added a gradient background and also added shadows to this box right here cool and now let's just say i want to create a landing page for my app and i want to move the main app to let's say slash app page so i can go ahead and say create a landing page in the root and move the app to slash app page okay so i can hit enter and let's see so lovable has created a simple landing page for our app and i can click on the get started option and it should take me to the app page and now let me just go ahead and copy let's say a couple of lines from wikipedia in here and select the voice as fable and click on generate speech and within seconds the ai will create the or convert the text into speech and store the same in superbase and also add the same in the history section so let's wait oh we already have it in here so we can find it in the recent generation sections as well so let me play it real quick apple inc is an american multinational corporation and technology company headquartered in cupertino california in silicon valley so there we have it and if i click on this history section i should be able to find both these right here so you have the actual text the audio player and also the download option and now let's just say i want to mo modify or customize this audio player so i can go ahead and say a nice look like modern day song apps and i can hit enter so i just want to give this audio player a bit more modern look so this is like a basic uh, browser audio uh, controller that we have in here so i want to give it a more modern look so let's see what lovable does for us all right so now we have a truly modern look and the entire old browser audio controller is gone so you can use this button to play your audio we have a nice progress bar in the same color and also the option to adjust the volume and again download the audio as well so that's how simple it is and now that we have actually created our website the next important step is to obviously make it live on the internet so that people can access it and the cool thing about lovable is that you can go ahead and click on this publish option right here and make it live and there you have two options you can either deploy it on a subdomain of lovable or connect your own custom domain but for now i'll go ahead and deploy it to the lovable subdomain and like all i got to do is to click on this deploy option and within seconds lovable will make the website publicly accessible so let's wait as you can see your site is published and anyone can visit this link and access the website so let me click on that one and there you have it if i click on the get started option it will prompt me to sign in so let me quickly put my password hit enter and there you have it we have our app the history section with all the generations and all that stuff and now if you want to access the code and maybe edit it with let's say cursor so after creating the project you might want to actually edit the whole application locally within your machine using cursor or, or vs code so all you got to do is to add this to github and after that you can clone that repo into a computer locally right so all you got to do is to click on this cog icon right here and if you scroll down you will find an option that says github and a button to connect to github so all you got to do is to click on this connect to github and it will ask you to log into your github account and then authorize and click on install and authorize 
and you will be redirected back to uh, lovable and now you will find a new called called and now you will find a new button called transfer repository so if you click on this one and select uh, organization lovable will go ahead and transfer this repository to your uh, github account and if you click on this url right here you will be able to access the entire code and everything else within your github repo and now if you want to you can go ahead and make it a private one and that way you have transferred the code and now you have full access to the entire code base and if you go to the src uh, folder you can find all the code in here so we have the app.tsx file and we have and you can also view the entire code and now let's just say you want to edit your app locally within your machine so you can go ahead and click on this code option copy the https command and use the git clone uh, uh, command to clone the same to your computer and you can open it up in cursor and start editing it as well so this is how simple it is to create a web app using lovable.dev and again connect superbase implement authentication database storage buckets and whatnot and if you move over to the history section you will be able to find all the changes that you are asked for and if you want to you can click on any one of those and you can also restore or go back to that version so let's say you implemented some feature and now you do not really want that feature you can click on any of the past generation and click on the restore option and the ai will roll back to that checkpoint so now that's also one cool feature that is available within lovable.dev so yeah that's pretty much all about it and the next step is to go ahead and you know you can go ahead and play around with lovable and create a cool web app and start using it for your next project so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one